example, take the salsa craze. <laughs> salsa is, of course, America's favorite condiment. But salsa is a great dance that has an extra beat, yes? <laughs> Pero tener salsa in la vida es tener ganas y tener gusto. And Latinos are bringing salsa to America. Latino music is the second on the charts. Think about dancing with the stars. They're dancing with the estrellas because they're doing mambos and chachas, <laughs> merengues and tangos. They're dancing con los Latinos. And today, more tortillas. No, what que pasó con las tortillas, hombre? Don't take your slide. And today, there are more tortillas sold in the United States than bread, right? So they used to say that bread was the staff of life. Ahora, que es the staff of life? Tortillas! <laughs> we also know that people in America wake up Latino style. Yes. Wake up and smell the cafecito! <laughs> Come on, say it with me. Wake up and smell the cafecito! <laughs> and margaritas, ahora sí, hombre. <laughs> Are you all ready for this? <laughs> Timing is everything. <laughs> Timing is everything. <laughs> all right. And margaritas, margaritas are, a fa are America's favorite mixed drink. Huh? So we got them in the morning con cafecito y en la noche con tequila. Right? And Mexican cuisine was just voted America's favorite food. Yeah. Yeah. Mexican cuisine. So America is becoming Latinized, right? And America is moving towards becoming a bilingual country. Huh? Si quieres hablar español, toque. El número uno, not dos, el número uno. Si quieres hablar español, toca el número uno. <laughs> and this is really good, right? Yeah. That we're becoming bilingual. Because you use more of your brain when you can speak two languages. And corporations are saying today in the global age, speaking another language is one of five competencies you need to be successful. Exactly. Right? So yes, 80% of Latinos still speak some Spanish at home. Un poquito poche, pero hablamos. Y la otra cosa, that Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. Now, we always compete with Hindu and, well, Chinese is first. We know there's more Chinese. But Hindu and Spanish always vie for second place. The difference is, Speak Chinese, go to China. Speak Hindu, go to India. Speak Spanish, ha, go to 33 countries in the world. Hey, you know, Spain, the Philippines. There's even a place in Africa called Spanish Viene, donde hablan español. Right? So if you want to speak the language of the world, if you want to connect with more people in our global community, habla español. Español. Latinos are also the bridge linking North, South, and Central America. We are the integrating force of this hemisphere. The importance of this connection cannot be, oh yeah, there they are. Let's, let's say it together. Latinos are the global connection. <clears throat> the importance of this connection, our connection as the bridges in this hemisphere, cannot be underestimated. It is predicted that in a few short years, the U.S. will export more goods to Latin America than to Europe and Japan combined. Our economic future is tried to Central and South America. Latinos, now, do, we do not only have the highest participation of any group in the labor market, but Hispanic workers comprised half of all the new jobs created in the U.S 
since the year 2000. First of all, we account for half the population growth in this country. We're the only group that is exceeding replacement rates. And we are younger than any group. So since demography is destiny, can you repeat that with me? Demography <laughs> is destiny. It is predicted that Latinos, by the middle of this century, will be the dominant group in the labor force. So if you want to move ahead economically, you have to learn how to work with and celebrate Latino culture. By what? By See, that's why I love coming to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please? No, but we're here and we. We'll be. Yes. Yeah. You keep that up, girl, and you're going to be here soon. So, es la hora because Latinos are gaining economic and political clout. Hispanics today. Oh, we, well, we don't really need this one. We need the one next after that, I think. Nope, back. It's fine. No, no, no. Just send it back. They don't care. <laughs> the Hispanic market today is $1 trillion. It's still on that slide with South America, I think. The South American slide? Go the other way. No, Poppy. No, Poppy. <laughs> no, Poppy. Not that one. <laughs> Come on, let's all say that to him. No, Poppy. <laughs> the U.S. market today is $1 trillion. We are the 10th largest GNP in the world. We are an economic power to be reckoned with. So turn to the person on your other side and say, we are an economic power to be reckoned with. Come on. <laughs> and we all know that Hispanics are the fastest growing small business sector in America and that Latino women are even faster than Latino men. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Latinos have an entrepreneurial spirit. And we know that because we go to Mexico and we want to take a little vacation. And we put our blanket on the beach and we lay down. And the next thing, oye, quieres tortillas? Quieres una, quieres una jamaca? Tengo ollas muy bonitas. No quieres llevar este a tu hijo? Yo tengo t-shirts, yo tengo un serape. And you're sitting there going like, all I did was come here. But we have a great entrepreneurial spirit all over Central and South America. You can see that. And that's been imbued in us here in America. The other thing is that Latinos are winning elections in greater numbers. And we were the fastest growing people to vote. 11.8 11, 11 million of us voted. You realize that's 11% of American voters. In Colorado, for example, whether you're Democrat or Republican, we increase voting by 5%. And we have initiatives across this country to register people to vote. Well, the Democrats won Colorado by 5%. You can look at those statistics across the country. And we were the deciding factor in the vote. Even better than that, 17% of our youth are voting. And they're beginning to be involved. And we have Latino Vote, and we have all of these uh, initiatives to get our young people involved. And so we're beginning to have political clout as well. Now, the Latino experience is very distinct from any other group in America. First of all, our cultural core continues to be reinvigorated by immigration, right? So, America is a nation of immigrants. But many of those immigrants that came from Germany and Ireland and England didn't keep going back to Puerto Rico or Mexico or Costa Rica or Nicaragua because their countries were way over there. But we continue to have connections with our familia and people across our borders. And we also continue to have 40% of our growth coming from immigration. The other thing, we're going to have to come back to this slide, if you don't mind. Yeah, there it is. That's the immigration slide, because I want everybody to know that this is a nation of immigrants. It is the tradition of America 
to welcome immigrants, and our strength as a nation has come from immigration. All right. So the other part that's so different for Latinos is that one third of the United States was Mexico, verdad? And this is two slides up. <laughs> We're playing musical slides, all right? <laughs> one more. There it is. Andale, we're on the right slide. So one third of Mexico, I mean one third of the United States is Mexico. And I come from the Southwest. So we have Colorado, the place where the rocks are red. Utah, Arizona, the place that doesn't rain, it's arid. Uh -huh. Nueva Mexico, well that says it all. I love Nueva Mexico. Why go to old Mexico if you can go to Nuevo Mexico? <laughs> Montaña. Montana. The place there's mountains. Nevada, the place it snows. California, Texas, one third of the United States. So we have roots. Ken Salazar, who served as our senator, seven generation American. So we have roots that go very, very far back to this country. And when a third of a country comes from another nationality, those roots, that integration, is part of the American soil. So Latinos are coming of age right at the time when futurists say that diversity and building our multicultural society is the critical issue of the 21st century. That diversity and building our multicultural society is the leadership issue of this century. Now we can see the three good looking Chicanos with the Newsweek. <laughs> They're this way. <laughs> Uno más. Uno. Hey! All right, so who are those young, good-looking Latinos? Colombiana. Mexicano. Cubano. Uh -huh. Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh -huh. Oh, Dominicano. And he's a Pulitzer Prize winner, right? Okay, so Latinos are coming of age in the multicultural millennium. And we are diversity. We are diversity. Diversity is the many colors sitting in your, in your living room, sitting at your dining room table. Latinos are white, yellow, Chino Latinos. They're Capacita, they're Mocha. They're Anglo, they're Chicano. They're from Califas. That means they're from California, so they sound from Califas. They're Cubanicas. My brother married a cu Cubana, so his sons are Cubanicas. You know what happens when you cross a Cuban with a Nicaraguan? You get a really good dancer. <laughs> a really good dancer. <laughs> My daughter, Car Carmen O'Connor, is a Leprechano Latino. <laughs> See, Latinos love diversity, right? We believe diversity brings salsa to life, and we love it. And while this diversity is the rich soil from which we grow, it presents a unique leadership challenge. How do we form identity? Because we're still at the identity formation stage. We only became a people united in 1980. Before that, before that we identified from the countries we came from. How do we form unity and identity from a group of people that are like picadillo or pico de gallo, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the first task that lays ahead for Latino leaders, and this is the critical role that all our organizations play, that Conexión plays, they are building a network of Latino leaders who understand that our power comes from diversity, that we can learn to benefit from our differences, that we can support each other and work together for the advancement of our people and our nation. So now we're going to have a Latino moment. You are going to stand up and tell a couple of people I'm Latino and proud. Adelante. Yeah.